What's up guys? Today uh, I'll show you how to replace this pinion. It's a 16 tooth pinion on the snowblower starter that I showed you how to replace in my other video. The part came in today and I will leave a link in the description. So the first thing we're going to want to do is pull this plastic cover off. All I did is use uh, two putty knives. Get one on this side and get one on this side and pry up. That comes off and if you pull this down you can see there is a retaining ring right here and there's a little bit of a split right there so we got to take that off next all right so to keep this there's a spring under this uh, collar here and this ring here you know is just loose all I did is take a pair of ice grips and put it on the shaft now you don't want to over tighten it to mar the shaft because the starter got it right up and down on that so just put a pair of ice grips to hold that retainer ring down and then uh, we'll try and get that off okay so what we're gonna use is a pair of snap ring pliers and uh, you're just gonna stick that in between there and you're gonna spread so it's gonna need two hands and I'll show you when I get it off alright so once you got it spread so far you're gonna have to take a screwdriver and uh, you're gonna have to pry it up All right, so once we get this off uh, it's going to be a little bent so you're going to have to just tap it with a hammer and then I'll show you how to put it back on. They do make a uh, tool kit. I think it's 82 something and that's ridiculous. I'm not paying that just to replace a pinion on a starter. So we're going to remove the vice grips now. Okay, so once we get this little retaining ring off and make sure you see there's a flat and then there's that. That's the part that the ring fits into. So you want to make sure you orientate yourself with that. Spring just comes off. Set that aside. And then uh, pinion comes off. You're going to want to clean this up with a wire brush. You know, hit it with a bit of D WD-40 or something and then we'll reassemble it. There's another piece here too I forgot to show you. It just uh, screws off clockwise so you want to take that off and you want to clean that up. If you have some carb cleaner too you know it helps clean up and just clean around here. Okay so once you got all this cleaned up we uh, screw this counterclockwise back on there and like I said you're gonna want to give this a shot of WD, actually I should have give it a shot under there. Okay, so this pinion here, the old pinion, is slightly different than this one. But the important part is, from this lip here, to the top of the shaft it still measures the same so we're about three quarters of an inch on that one and you got like three quarters of an inch on that one but if you look at them over here you can see the difference the shoulders are the same but the teeth are about an eighth of an inch lower on this one than this one but the overall height is also a little different alright so we replaced the spring and then we put our little retaining cap flat side down and we're gonna have to use our vice grips to hold that thing down here again okay now to bend this back it's slightly off just take two pairs of pliers and just give it a little nudge you can kind of see now that's straight okay now this thing here will not fit back over after you straighten it so what you're gonna do 
is take a pair of uh, needle nose pliers and just kind of squeeze it at the bottom to kind of flatten it out and spread that spot open kind of like this and you just give it a little squeeze till you flatten that and make it open okay so as you can see that spread open now what we're gonna do is take a pair of pliers and we're gonna squeeze that back around okay so you see you know this doesn't have any kind of teeth in it you set that over there and you're gonna squeeze that and you can see that kind of tighten up now I'm not gonna you, you want to make sure that you get it all the way around nice and neat okay so you can see we got that back on all we're gonna do is take the vice grips off now and you can see that fits perfectly right on there so it's not going nowhere and then you want to make sure your that pinion you want to make sure it comes up and it looks like it's working good so there you go okay one more thing I forgot the plastic cap now this is not an OEM pinion and uh, this cap is loose so we're gonna have to fix that I'm just gonna use some quick set JB well they got it mixed up here alright so all I did is just put a little bead in there you can hopefully see that and we'll just stick it on there leave that set up and uh, dry and if you have to you know it'll break loose